We will now perform the nitrous acid test for amines using the test compounds tert-butylamine, aniline, and N-methylaniline. The test is best used to distinguish between primary aromatic and primary aliphatic amines from secondary and tertiary amines. It also differentiates aromatic and aliphatic amines. You will need to use infrared spectroscopy to make the distinction between secondary and tertiary amines. Primary aliphatic amines lose nitrogen gas at low temperatures under the conditions of this test. Aromatic amines yield a more stable diazonium salt and do not lose nitrogen until the temperature is elevated. In addition, aromatic diazonium salts produce a red azo dye when 2 naphthol is added. Secondary and tertiary amines produce yellow nitroso compounds, which may be soluble or may be oils or solids. We will begin by dissolving a small amount of the amine in two milliliters of water with eight drops of concentrated sulfuric acid in a large test tube. We will next add four more milliliters of deionized water to each test tube to help dissolve any amine sulfate salt that is formed. Any remaining solid will not interfere with the results of this test. We will then mix the contents of each test tube and place in an ice water bath. We will also need to cool two milliliters of 10% aqueous sodium nitrite solution per compound to be tested in another test tube. In a final test tube, we will next dissolve a small amount of two naphthol in two milliliters of 10% aqueous sodium hydroxide solution and place it in the ice bath to cool. We will next add the cold sodium nitrite solution dropwise to the cooled solutions of the amines and look for bubbles of nitrogen gas. Substantial evolution of gas at low temperature indicates a primary aliphatic amine. The formation of a yellow oil or yellow solid indicates a secondary amine. Tertiary amines do not react or behave like secondary amines. If little or no gas evolves at low temperature, we will take half the solution and warm it to room temperature. Nitrogen gas bubbles at the elevated temperature indicate that the original compound was a primary aromatic amine. We will then take the other half of the solution and dropwise add the solution of two naphthol in base. If a red dye precipitates, the unknown has been conclusively shown to be a primary aromatic amine. 